This is a really happy kitty. It is a really happy kitty. And it's now as, as we're back here with Dr. David Graff from, <laughs> from here, we do welcome your phone calls on this. And so, we, well, we've already built this as a really happy kitty. Yes. So who do we have here? Well, his name is Selleck, and he's named after Tom oh. Selleck. There he goes. Oh, really? Yes, because he's so good looking. Okay. Yeah, and I was saying this, Tom and Selleck's one of the last who can pull off the mustache yeah, in 2016. Yeah. And now Selleck has taken off. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's, a, he's about uh, four... Three, hey, there he is. There we go. Three and a half, four months Get old. Get the long scoop. And there he's we available go. at the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. So okay. And, and, and for cats, though, uh, let's talk about one behavioral issue that, that might be a concern for how to spot if a cat is unhappy. Yeah. Well, the hiding, urinating outside the litter box, um, a a acting, um, uh, you know, emotionally drained. Um, some things to know about your kitty. Um, they have basic requirements to be happy. Sure. In addition to food and water, they need a, a place to sleep. Right. Okay? They need a place to hide. Cats, cats normally like to go someplace to hide. They need perches. So they, it's, it's important that they have a place where it's okay for them to get up and look over their domain. Sure. Okay? They need lots of toys. Uh, tubes to run through. Uh, motion toys. There's, there's new things for cats where you can put food in a puzzle and they have to get the food out by playing with it. So they're, they're um, essentially like a 41-year-old man. You need a man cave, you need places where you can oversee everything. So and, and, and some and of the basic needs are still there. That's right, and they don't like change. They, they like to have the same people, the same animals. Right. The, if, you, if you change your furniture in your house, that is a stress to your cat. Yes. And, and people don't think about this. I had not thought about that. So, so for all of you amateur interior designers out there, maybe take that into consideration. Rob, we have a call on the line. Thanks for calling. What's your question? Well, my question is for a dog. Okay, for yes, a dog. Okay. And, yeah, and she, has, she has anxiety so bad that she tries to escape, but she has the whole run of the house. How, what do we do with Bonta anxiety? My mic is turned off. If, if you have anxiety with a dog that has the whole run of the house but still wants to escape, is there, thanks for the call, Rob, is there a good way to try to bottle this in, whether it's just maybe cutting off the run of the house or making it where it's a little bit more structured around the house? Um, if, if your dog is having an anxiety, there's, it's, it's quite possible this is because of being separated. Uh, people and pets have a very close bond. Mm -hmm. And when people leave their house, Many pets frequently have anxiety because when, of leaving the house. It's, it's called separation anxiety. And it sounds like that may be what this dog could be exhibiting. Now, one thing you talked about here was Selleck, that cats always need a place to hide. This is where Selleck has gone, which is back behind all, all the bright monitors and everything you see. We will go find the cat. We will get this figured yes. out. So coming up for Thursday, we'll also take a look at our, from our financial experts on what to remember, though, as the year is also heading out towards the end of 2016. Maybe to take a look at making sure your taxes are in line. Stay with KCRG TV9.